Hi guys, my name is Charlene. Welcome to this new video. For those who are new here, I am an illustrator. Um, currently, I'm doing my building my portfolio as a children's books illustrator. And today the video will be a little bit different. I will show to you guys my watercolor sketchbook. Um, so yeah, welcome. So this is my watercolor sketchbook. It's the XL Aquarelle uh, series from Canson. And these are the characteristics of the sheets. This is my first uh, watercolor sketchbook. What you see here is really from the beginning of my practice using watercolor. The first thing, thing I did was the swatches to understand what type of colors I had. This is from Lucas, a watercolor palette. I can show you guys which is this palette. Uh, it's this one. Um, it's about 12 colors and yeah here you can see the the real real colors from each pen uh, these are good um, it's a good combination of colors I think for a, for a palette uh, and yeah so this on the top I don't remember if I was uh, following some tutorial or not. I just know that I was trying to like mixing some colors like this one or just adding water to make the color light. So I, I was playing with the colors and with uh, how watercolor worked. Uh, here are some exercises like the color wheel and how to mix colors, like how to mix blue and pink to get a purple. These are some techniques, like here's when you add more water, I think, and here is when don't have too much water uh, mix with the, the pigment. And here is like, a, here is like, a, how, how can I say that in English? It's not the grade, it's like... I always forgot this word. Always. <laughs> Just a second. Oh. Oh yeah, this is the gradient. Like from like adding some pigment, mixing with fluid with a little bit water and then just add more water to make a gradient. Um, yeah, these are some just exercise about how to control the, the brush. Uh, here the same, here also the, is the gradient. And I was just playing with the watercolor. Here, yeah, here is a, it's a sh uh, shade with a lot of swatches and tests. I really like this part, this side. Yeah, this combination of colors, but okay. Uh, as I remember, I was following some video, YouTube video tutorial, tutorial to make this brush techniques and also this tree. This is actually a good one for the, the first tree that I did. Um, here is basically, uh, I was trying to do the wet on wet and dry on dry. I think this is the technique uh, to understand what is the difference and yeah, and mixing with two different colors also. And from here forward, I was following a um, course that I bought. Uh, it was a watercolor course for beginners. This is the, the, the gradient. This is mixing two colors and trying to mix them here. But as you can see, I noticed just now that I was using opposite colors. So this is not a good combination in the center. It's, it's like a muddy color. I think this was the dry 
the wet, the dry on dry technique because I add just more water here. I don't remember actually, but that are just exercises. And here was to try to understand how paint, how to paint, um, how to do actually the this gradient between two, col two colors and also how to paint water. This one I was just following. I think I was following uh, the same course, yeah. I tried to put more light color in the back background mountain. And in the middle one, like put more pigment. And then in this mountain here, when you can see close, uh, I add more pigment. Like it was, I exercised about control how much light or dark the color would be. And here it was uh, trying to do a, a galax, but I don't know what is it right now. <laughs> it was about to understand how to paint uh, snow, like just adding some gray colors in the shadows and just leave the snow uh, as the color of the paper, like the white. I, I like these trees here, it's good. Here I was trying to follow a tutorial on Pinterest to paint some watermelon and also how to do this uh, the the leaves with just a, uh, doing a brush technique. These two paintings I did recently. This was a uh, I was following a tutorial. I don't know if I like the shadows, but in general I like this painting. And also this one I like it. I didn't follow any tutorial for this one. At some point I did this sketch. And then in this day, I painted it and it, it was my goal to do this orange and blue combination. Here, I was in the mood of draw and painting more portraits. And I saw on YouTube a live from Mari Canin and she was doing this portrait. She taught how to draw the portrait and also how to paint. I followed her class and I, then I did this painting. Uh, this I just was playing with uh, the brushes and the colors. It was like just for fun, without any plan. Uh, here it was also a live from another YouTuber, Mika Serur. She's a Brazilian too, as uh, Mari Canin, and she thought how to to paint a mushroom. I really like how all the things uh, ended up. And from here, I subscribed a watercolor club. So each month, uh, a new project was released and there was some classes to do and also exercises. And this uh, project was about how to paint um, amethyst. Uh, here is another project from, from this watercolor club. How to, in this case, the final project was to do a whale. And for that, we learned how to do texture using watercolor. And here it, it was like color tests to understand how color match with other to do these different textures and also a combination of colors. And this was the final project. Also, we learned how to do this other painting. Uh, here's also from, it's another project from, from the club. It was about understand the colors and understand what colors are cold and what colors are warm. 
and recognize our uh, the co the primary colors in our palette. And also we learned how to make dark colors using complementary colors or other techniques. Then we need to find the colors, like the cold and warm colors, like the cold yellow and the warm yellow, also uh, blue, the cold blue and the warm blue, like for all these colors. It was cool because usually we think that, oh, yellow is warm and just it, but actually, no, like each color have a warm and a cold tone. Um, this other project, it was about, uh, it was about, I think, I don't know if it's about, ah, uh, yeah. It was about how to create, um, I can say good um, greens uh, that m match with the greens that you have in nature. Because sometimes the greens you have in our palettes are kind of not, not so natural, as if I can say that. So this was our exercise to make the greens more natural. <laughs> and then we did some leaves also, and we learned how to use different techniques to, to paint uh, the leaves. And here's the same, more, the same techniques here, here. I used to do these leaves and also this cute succulent. Uh, for the next project from this club, it was about using the transparency to painting, basically. So like here you can see like how the transparency make new colors when you when you put the leaves uh, up on other leaves uh, here to make different greens in the same leaf, leaf. The, the, the clouds, this technique to make like a death. And this is the beautiful sunflower. We learned how to paint it and also how to add a filter, a color filter add to the sunflower. And then we had a portrait uh, project. And in this case, uh, we were using um, layers of paintings. So yeah, I can say that I finished it. So it's good. <laughs> uh, and this is the other project that we did. It was about how to paint uh, white flowers. So basically how to add shadows and other colors to make the, to paint the flower, the white flower. And in the end we painted this flower and also this one. I, I, I am really proud since today that I did this one because I really like this result. And then the other project was about using, I, I don't know actually what it uh, was about, but as I remember was to use a limited palette to paint fruits. So I used yellow and blue and red to paint it, these fruits. And then we go to the next project. Uh, it was about painting um, pencils. Uh, basically, first we learned how to understand the values. Like you have some uh, light parts and also dark parts. And also here the same. And it was just about understand the values. And because of that, we used just one color. I used this red and I just added water to make it light. After uh, we understand this, we painted the pencils. 
basically is that actually I have other paints that I just add in my wall. This one, I use it a uh, image from Pinterest. I don't know if it was an image or a photography. I think I think it was an image uh, illustration. And I painted this one. Another paint that I did was this one. It was a test for the same painting because the other, the original one, I gave to a friend. And yeah, it was a birthday gift for this friend. And I also, I was doing some sketches to make this paint and I did this one. This is the first idea for this one, <laughs> basically. This is my watercolor sketchbook. I hope you enjoy it, go through all these paintings. And that's it, guys. And I forgot to say that usually I do digital illustrations for my portfolio, but also I like to use uh, traditional media like watercolor. And because of that, I have this sketchbook that I just showed to you guys. But also in the future, I want to, to try other materials like gouache and oil pastel, pastels. And if you guys want to see like me painting for the first time uh, gouache or oil pastels, just leave a comment here down below so then I, I can I can understand if you guys are interested in see like me painting for the first time this type of materials. So yeah, thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you guys want to see other videos here in my channel, you can see we have more videos. It's more about vlogs and other things. And see you in the next video, guys. Bye!